Let's see, as I start recording, it's 5.54 p.m. on June the 30th, a Wednesday. Woohoo. Oh, well, this is different. I'm going to do two straight, not on Alexa, not on how my life is associated. Well, okay. But anyway, I'm going to do two straight about my grandmother. This, 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 this is interesting. Uh, and once again, this is the second straight where... Um, you know, it's a fragment that's been sitting around for a couple weeks or more and just haven't felt like doing it for whatever reason. You know, I'm lazy. Well, no, I just, whatever. But anyway, this all started back on uh, June the 3rd, which was my birthday, unfortunately. 32 fucking basement dwelling years old. Um, I don't like celebrations of my birthday or most holiday or holidays to begin with i just not that my birthday is a holiday but i just don't like celebrations all that much especially my birthday because i'm just a year closer to death i'm not it's nothing special once you get you know once you hit 18 you know you're an adult you maybe hit 21 you can drink or 30 maybe 40 50 whatever but really it, it, all it's all the same to me you know especially now i'm not happy so I'm not gonna eat cake and ice cream and shit and be happy about this, you know, because I'm just not. Um, you know, so, uh, but anyway, you know, because, you know, when my birthday was getting close, my mother was like, uh, um, you know, she's, she's getting all giddy about it. And it's like, nah, just stop. I don't, you know, I felt kind of bad because I'm like slapping her down like my, no, I don't. It's nothing special. I'm not. It's nothing happy about my birthday. And, you know, she's more excited about it than I am. But that's nothing new. But uh, you know, it's like I don't want any cake. I don't want ice cream. I don't want anything. I don't want gifts and shit. I don't. I just, I just don't want it. But you know, the day before, she just handed me like twenty bucks or something like that. And I was like, well, I hate taking it, but hey, uh, okay, at least I can get the hell out of this house eventually. You know, for maybe if only for you know several hours, but I'll have to come back. And then uh, that that on my birthday that evening, my grandmother calls me and it's like, oh no, because my mother warned me that she was gonna give me something. It's like, no, no, no. So when she called me, it's just like. <sighs> so I grudgingly climb the stairs, and you know she's like. Um, she hands me five bucks, you know, like four bucks and like a dollar and a quarter or something like that, you know. She she apologizes. She's like, I had to pay a big bill, so this is all this is all I got or whatever. And it's like it's okay, you know. I just I, I can barely look her in the eye or even I guess I thanked her, but it's just like I felt so ashamed, you know. And then the next day, she calls me again. It's like, oh no. And she gives me 30 more hours. And once again, I just, just filled with so much shame and shit. I just felt terrible, you know. You know, I feel terrible taking money from her. I'm being sheltered and fed and I'm not contributing any money. I'm not doing much outside of, you know, mop on the floor weekly, which I don't do weekly like I'm supposed to because... Even if I mop it every day, it's going to get dirty every day because my uncle's is disgusting. You know, I wash your dishes once in a blue moon. Not as much as I should because I get tired of keeping up after people who just drop a shit ton of dishes in there. But, you know, I do other sporadic things around the house. Nothing that I can even remember, you know. I don't I contribute nothing. Nothing, nothing. I barely speak to her. You know, she's called me many times because I don't stop and say hi or nothing. But can't fake it, you know, miserable and whatever. So anyway, you know, I get I get this this, you know, basically ends up with sixty bucks. On my the uh, on my birthday the day after my birthday I have sixty bucks, you know, it's like wow, this is uh uh big money for me. For it seems like, you know it's fucking sad, but it's true. So it's like wow I can get a lot of, you know, snacks and play my four bucks a week lottery, you know, poor man's dream, and get, you know, like I said, snacks, or whatever, and maybe I can grab the bus and go out to Starbucks once a week or whatever, that'll keep, you know, that'll keep me with money for a couple weeks, 
two, three weeks maybe, and maybe they even get breakfast and shit. It's like, wow. Mine, mine, mine's fall. But, um, my, my, uh, my, my Netflix has been turned off for like a year. And, you know, this is the most money I've had at one time. And it's like the part of me that's like, the practical part of me is saying, like, this is $60. This means you'll have a few pennies to rub together for a few weeks. But then the not so practical part of me is like, you're going crazy watching the same fucking shit over and over again. How many times can you watch Batman Begins, The War Supremacy, Born of Identity, and a few, and all those episodes that you don't want to watch? How I many times you can't do it? And it's like, well, Netflix. Get my Netflix back. My mother's like, I was ta- I told my mother about this over months, and she's like, oh, how much is it? I'll pay for it. And it's like, no, no, no. But now I'm sitting there with the $60. It's like, wow. I should do that, you know, 15 bucks. Like, if I put 35 bucks in there, you know, I have two months of DVDs, you know. I mean, I'm so far behind on everything. <clears throat> so, I finally, I finally dragged myself out of this house, you know. I remember I got this money on the 3rd and 4th, but I didn't get out until the 9th, June the 9th. So, I went down to the, the only ATM machine that I know of. Well, not that's convenient. It's right down the street. It's right down the street from uh, Starbucks, and I haven't used my debit card in like nine months. I mean, I've had like fifty-seven cent in the bank, and before that, I was like fifty-two cent or something like that because they screwed up some kind of, you know, when I closed my savings account. So basically, fifty-seven cent in my bank account for nine months to a year. I haven't used it, so I have to walk up to the drive-through thing and put them like thirty bucks, thirty-five bucks in there, and it's like. Um, yeah, I don't remember my PIN number for sure, because I forget things that I don't do. I have to constantly be redoing it, you know. That's my sad sack brain. So, like, I'm doing it in there, and I, I think I know what it is. Put the money in there. do 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 Wrong. Did that, like, three times. Walked away, and then I came right back. I was like, okay, maybe this is it. You know, because it's, and it was set up, the ATM machine is set up differently. You know, a lot of changes in nine months. You know, it used to be you had to put it in an envelope, look at the envelope, and then stick it in the slot. Now it's just like, you know, you lift this little chute up and you stick the money in and it sucks it in there. So, uh, you know, when I came back, I stuck the money back in there and I finally got the bin number right on like the fifth try. And then it wouldn't take the money. <laughs> you get an error message that says, we, this ATM's not accepting money or something. So I was like, oh, did I screw this up before? So I did it again and it still didn't work. So I had to do the long, uh, I was like, oh shit. Then I had to do the walk of shame into the actual mach- into the actual building and walk up to the teller with my $35 to put to deposit into my account that has 57 cents in. That was fucking embarrassing. So embarrassing. So, you know, I do that and just shamed, just shamed. So then I walk down and go into Starbucks and I check, you know, they got my receipt. This is the 35, 57 in there. It's available. Check the bank, check uh, the website to see if it declined electronically. It showed right up and it did. It was sitting there. So then I go to Starbucks and I change the information. I mean, change the information. I, um, I unlock it. <laughs> And I'm thinking, oh, wait, I'm going to have my money when I get back. So a couple days pass, nothing happens. I end up going back to Starbucks finally on the 15th. And it it, it was still wasn't there. And it, like, it turns out that it's like an error message because the uh, the zip code and, on, and the billing address aren't the same, which is ridiculous because it is. But I change it and start and Netflix again. And I think, okay, I'm cool, right? Thankfully I was, because the movies did finally show up on uh, the 17th. <laughs> but, uh, you know, some a lot of the value of Netflix is kind of diminished because I can't do Watch Now, which sucks. And I only have two at a time, which sucks. But when I had two at a, two at a time, I could always watch it on my Xbox, my PlayStation, or, or on the computer. And I can't do that now. But, you know, I just have to take what I can get and accept it now, you know. Cause I got two months. And like I said, don't want to watch more supremacy. I mean, more supremacy again. So, home box office. <laughs>